It's time now for Down on the Corner with Dale Hoffman, North Central Arkansas's premier news talk program. Brought to you by Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated right here in Mountain Home. Good morning, North Central Arkansas, Southern Missouri. It is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020, Woo-hoo! and it is 7 a.m. It looks like my hair's all frizzed. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got to do this for you, Lee. Bye, Bye Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked out the door yeah, kind of yeah. <laughs> good morning and welcome that's driving me crazy that's you got bat hair. wings going i know i look at this it's terrible bat dale that's what happens when you drive with the windows down <laughs> with wet hair <laughs> good morning welcome down on the corner program hope you're thursday it's thursday already Have it you is looked? we've got it is uh, this this whole month has just flown through. Yeah. I don't know what. You know, gone. You know. Yeah. Wow. Oh uh, wow. My hats are getting knocked around all over the place. Well, there we what go. What are you doing that for? I don't know. That just looks terrible. They're what all do you got there? The green one's what yellow. What's that? What's the green one? Green one is uh, uh, Yellville Summit Panthers. Okay, and the next one. Uh, flipping. And of course, you get your mountain, mountain home hat. Home. I just see on the TV screen, we only see, what was the last one? It's not showing up all the way in the monitor. That one there is, I have to give it, I think that's Spartan Mowers. Oh, is it Spartan? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Well, good morning. Welcome down on the Corner Program. We're brought to you by your local hometown Sears store right here in Mountain Home. They're at 1029 Highway 62 East. You can call them at 870-425-3191. As you see on your screen, locally owned and operated. What's that mean? The owner lives here, the money stays here, the taxes are paid here, and he serves us, the local folks right here in North Central Arkansas, South Central Missouri. And I want to invite folks from South Central Missouri to come on down and visit your local hometown Sears store. They'd love to have you stop by. If you need any service work done on appliances, be sure to call them because they love to travel to Missouri as well as areas in Arkansas to help you out, right? You got it. You got it. They... Their whole thing is servicing local, and, and by being a, a hometown Sears store, he can decide what's all in his store. I mean, he's got all the Sears products, all the tools, and the, the and he still believes in that your tool breaks, bring it in, we'll replace it. Got that warranty, yep. But he also sells like DeWalt and Husqvarna and a bunch of different lines, top-of-the-line mm-hmm. items that he knows hold up real well. Then with your appliances, of course, he's got Kenmore, Whirlpool, yep. Kitchen Aid, I think LG, some line of LG. He's got some top name products there for you. And he'll service <clears throat> anything. Really? That's one of the biggest things. He doesn't care where you buy it from or what brand it is. If he'll you're having it. issues with it, whether it be appliances or mowers or whatever, contact them. They'll take care of you. Wow. Your hometown Sears store at 1029 Highway 62, 62 East. That's up on the hill behind Wendy, same parking lot as Orsland's, out in front of Physical Therapy Connection. Your hometown Sears store, call them at 870-425-3191. The very best in home appliances, home entertainment, tools, lawn care equipment, anything for the home. Be sure to check out your hometown Sears store. Jared and his staff are just, they're ready to serve you today. You know, you can call them, what time they open? 7, 8 o'clock, probably 8 o'clock? Probably 8, I would About imagine. About 8 o'clock, yeah. And they'd love to have you stop by. If you're up in Gainesville, come on down. You're over in Yellville or Flippin'. Love to have you. Come on over from Salem, Arkansas. You're always welcome. Your local hometown Sears store, locally owned and operated right here in Mountain Home. I'm enjoying Brood Awakening Coffee. You can do the same thing. They have three locations to serve you the best coffee in town. You've got Bomber Boulevard, which is a drive through 62 East Plaza, which is a drive through You also have Baxter Regional Main Lobby. Have to follow the uh, instructions for the COVID-19 prevention there. And you can walk in and enjoy brood awakening coffee there at the hospital. Other than that, the two drive throughs are open and ready to go as we speak at 7.04 on the computer clock. You can enjoy the best coffee in town. The mochas, the lattes, the frappuccinos, pumpkin spies for all of those that want that. They got their French vanilla and you name it, they've got it. What's the They have got shakes, smoothies. They've got something for everybody. I'm, I'm see, looking to see what my... the Funky Monkey this week. Oh, that's one of my favorites yeah. is Funky Monkey. And then we the had red, the Razorback. The Razorback. And then what was that um, one yesterday? Something with some chocolate stuff? That was the Razorback. That was the Razorback. That was the Razorback. They also called the original. Uh, the, was the white chocolate sauce, yeah. a raspberry, and hazelnut syrup. I'm going to go with something different. I'm going to go with a frozen drink today. This is a frozen called the Java Chip Bean Freeze. 
the Java Chip Bean Freeze. Java Chip Bean Freeze. It's <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> Milano syrup, espresso beans, chocolate chips, and vanilla. There you go. All in one frozen. From Brood Awakening. Yep. There you go. They've got I, it. I encourage everybody to go to brewedawakening.net. Look at their menu. They have got a large selection. That is cool. That is so cool. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I mean, <laughs> add a little bit more. I'm going through and reading off what they got. I mean, I'm just going right off their menu here. And I talked to them, um, what was it, Monday, I believe, and went out there. Yes, you can buy beans from them, whether they're yep. ground or not ground. So if you want to grind your own beans, you know, you can go out there, buy a pound or two pounds of coffee and take them home and grind them. That way a lot of people got their own little personal machine that yep. they gr- like to grind, grind their grind own. Yeah. So. Go buy and get grind some your fresh own coffee beans. beans and make your own coffee. You know, they'll grind them for you. You can grind your own beans. So that, there's another service by Brood Awakening Coffee. Brood Awakening Coffee is real coffee, as Mike says. And, of course, uh, I always say if you're not drinking Brood Awakening, you're just drinking muddy water because Mike and his staff do a fantastic job at all three locations to bring you the best coffee in town. Brood Awakening is real coffee. Right? There you go. You bet. Roller Funeral Homes of Arkansas bring you morning prayer each and every day. With all our respect, Roller Funeral Homes, 29 in the state of Arkansas, to serve you with one in Memphis, Tennessee. Here in town, you talk to Brad, Bruce, Charlotte, Chris, anyone there can help you. And, um, you know, it's a hard, hard job. It's very hard when you lose a friend, a loved one, family member, whatever it may be. And uh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Uh, You know, just panic, panic. Don't panic. Let rollers handle it. They do it very, very well. They know what they're doing. And they will work with you and help you in all aspects of, of the transition. You know, Roller Funeral Homes, with all respect, great folks all across the state and in Memphis, Tennessee. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. That's how they do business on a daily basis. It's a tough job, and they do it very, very well. I couldn't do what they do. Yeah, it's, I couldn't do it's tough, do. but you talk to them, and they don't, they don't look at it the same way we do, mm-hmm. as, you know, dealing with, <clears throat> with loss of life and this and that. They, they look at it as they are there to help. Help others yeah and, and they they the really have a passion for that mm-hmm. roller funeral homes with all our respect all across the state of arkansas and in memphis tennessee morning prayer brought to you by roller funeral homes let's pause now for our morning prayer heavenly father my prayer today is asking for healing lord the virus continues its rampage affecting both the young and the elderly lord we're all looking forward to the holidays and everyone of course would want to be healthy Lord, we all have family, friends affected by the illness, and Lord, I pray for everyone that is ill or tested positive, whatever it may be. Please heal these people and end the virus, Lord. Our families are suffering, our schools, churches, and businesses are hurting. Once again, Lord, my prayer today, please heal our people and end the virus. It's my prayer today. Amen. Roller Funerals of Arkansas bring the morning prayer each and every day with all our respect. Roller Funeral Homes. And now I've been looking forward to this all morning tonight. <laughs> Glad you have. Dun, dun, dun. The weather. Looking forward to that like my luck next round of uh, of indigestion here, right? <laughs> that wasn't too bad though. You want to do yeah. it again? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think anybody at home wants me to either. <laughs> Their morning prayer, please stop the trumpet. <laughs> please find a better trumpet. <laughs> I'll bring my duck call. <laughs> morning weather is brought to you by the Z-Team. Bob and Linda's door for all your real estate needs. 870-405-0793. The Z-Team, Century 21 Lemac Real Estate. Can't say enough good things about, you know, Bob and Linda's door and their top-notch service, their award-winning service, and um, just how well... They do the job serving their clients. You know, you want to sell your home or buy a home, you need to call the Z Team. Whether it's in Arkansas or Missouri, could be in Gainesville, West Plains, could be in Marshall, Arkansas, could be down around Calico Rock. The team is ready, assembled, and ready to go now. Call them at 870-405-0793, retire to Arkansas.net. We'll take a look at the White River. Beautiful shot this Ooh, morning. Oh, boy, look at I that. I like these shots right yeah, here. Yeah, that's cool. You, you can... up above the fog. You can see what I call Cotter Island. Yep. But you can see the fog <laughs> coming around. And it just, it's a beautiful shot. Isn't that something? The camera, of course, is mounted in Marion County, Arkansas, and Cotter Island, as Scooter calls it, is in Baxter County. Underneath the fog is the beautiful White River, and it'll burn off later on in the morning, probably within the next hour to two hours. 
And so while you're at retiredarkansas.net looking at the beautiful White River, you can also check out all the listings with the Z Team, Century 21 Lemac Real Estate, and all of the multiple listing service listings in this area. And keep in mind that Linda is a professional stager, so when you list your home with the Z Team, you have the advantage of Linda setting the home up for that eye appeal that gets it sold quickly. And so the Z Team, that's why they win the awards, because they do such a great job serving their people. Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z Team, for all your real estate needs, 870-405-0793, retire to Arkansas.net. Morning weather brought to you by the Z Team. Right now, we are at 64 degrees. That's nice. That's nice. 63 at Harrison, 69 already at Batesville, 62 at Salem, 64 at Calico Rock, 62 at Flippin. Marshall checks in at 57, while it's 62 at West Plains and around the region. St. Louis is at 51, 57 at Popper Bluff, 65 in Springfield, Missouri, and only 27 in contrast in Watford City, North Dakota. Hmm. <clears throat> shower activity in the northern part of the, of the country. Uh, we have shower activity from Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, northern Illinois, across the Great Lakes region, region into western New York and northwest Pennsylvania. Other than that, we tend to be pretty dry. We do have some really, really light Freezing precipitation up here in Montana, the Dakotas, Idaho, Wyoming, and some of it into the northern part of Wisconsin and Minnesota. That's not affecting Arkansas by any stretch of imagination, but there is some freezing precip. Checking Arkansas, we'll zoom in on Arkansas and check all those highways for you. Of course, everything's clear at this time. You can see how clear it was on the White River. You can just imagine how it is across the state. 62, 412 east and west looks good. Highway 65 to Branson. 67-167 as they split off from Little Rock going to Batesville and then off to Popper Bluff, Missouri. They're in pretty good shape there. Your interstates, 30, 40, 49, 55, 555, and 530 in Arkansas look good. You've got Memphis, Tennessee over here. I-40 to Nashville is in good shape. Interstate 155 to Dyersburg, Tennessee. You see it right here going down to Jackson. It's 412 right there. Everything looks good in the Boot Hill of Missouri, Southern Missouri, Springfield, Joplin in good shape on I-44, Highway 60, 65, 160, everything looking good there. I-55 going to St. Louis, I-49 to Kansas City, I-29 <coughs> north, I-70 from Jefferson City, east and west, looks like it's in good shape. Southern Illinois, we got Belleville, Edwardsville, everything in good shape there, I-64 to Mount Vernon, Illinois, no problems there. All the way down to Paducah, Kentucky, <clears throat> I-24, I-57 at Carroll. Everything's looking good this morning. Well, let's see. Nothing for Arkansas, but Indiana, Missouri, Illinois. They've got a dense fog advisory. Stretches all the way up into southern Indiana. We have some freeze warnings in Kansas and Nebraska. Then a whole lot of cold weather up from Wisconsin all the way back to northern Washington. Going up, up into British Columbia, Canada right there. Nothing for Arkansas right now. But some fog advisories and a little bit of wind over in west central Missouri going on. Seven day forecast, high of 83 today. Then uh, tonight drops down to 61. Friday, here comes the rain. 50% chance during the day. We have showers and thunder showers Friday, Friday night into Saturday. 20% chance on Saturday. Saturday night continues that. Sunday, 30%, 40, 50% on Monday. So we got that cold front coming through. Temperatures look like uh, from 83 today, falling from 67 tomorrow. They'll go down to 46 on Friday night, 57 on Saturday, 68 on Sunday, and 55 on Monday. Checking I Drive Arkansas. <clears throat> no accidents or slow traffic. Fort Smith, Little Rock, Texarkana, Memphis, everything moving good there. Missouri Department of Transportation. Man, they've cleaned that map up. It was just covered in dots of construction, everything going on. And Looks like the state of Missouri is ready for winter time right there. Yeah, they cleaned up a bunch of the construction, getting They've it down it all and out done. of the That's way. That's good. Wow. Bull Shoals Lake sitting at 658.36. They're just a little bit below the full pool of 659. North Fork Lake is a foot and a half above 552. The full pool sitting at 553.53. So we're full up on the lakes. No flooding right now on the lakes. Your uh, pollen count stays at 2.2 today and tomorrow with ragweed being the culprit. And then the rampage of the coronavirus, 101,596 total cases with 91,317 recovered. Confirmed cases, 95,399. Hospital information in the state of Arkansas, 626 positive admissions, 241 in ICUs across the state with 94 on ventilators. Our six county area report. Click we have on the active map. Active map is. It's the second one yeah. over. 
There you go. We have 8,520 active, confirmed 7,272 with probable 1248. Right now in Baxter County, 105 active, recovered 476. It's an 81% recovery rate. Marion County, 18 active with 118 recovered. They're at an 85% recovery rate. Searcy and Stone Counties are our winners with this. Searcy County with 1,266 recovered. That's 93% for that county. Stone County with five, only five active, 364 recovered. That's a 93% recovery. Izzard County uh, has got some high numbers here at 220, 326 recovered, 60% recovery rate. Fulton County with 57 active, 230 recovered, 77% recovery rate. And so, boy, be glad when the virus is over. You know, tired of having people sick. We've got... Family, friends, everybody affected by this. I think you got a bunch of people joining you on that one. No, I tell you, we're ready for it to be over. Oil prices right now, it looks like it's up a dollar five. It's at forty forty five a barrel. The Dow Jones Industrial Average at twenty eight two ten yesterday, as of five oh nine p.m. It was down ninety eight points, and we're still holding at twenty eight thousand uh, area on the stock market, which shows a pretty strong economy right now. Morning weather and all your updates are brought to you by the Z-Team. Bob and Linda Zador for all your real estate needs. 870-405-0793. Retire to Arkansas.net. I do have a community calendar. Okay. What all you right. got? Lions Club auction Yay! is coming up. It's about time we start promoting this. So uh, November 9th through the 13th uh, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. nightly. Uh, they'll have the Lions Club auction going on. And you can... Listen on KTLO. You can watch it right here on XL7 TV. And then on the screen kind of shows that uh, all the different places you can view and listen to it. And um, it's got the phone number that you can call the bids on. Just go to lionsclubauction.com. Bring up their information. They'll have a lot of items. They're talking like 500 items. And uh, It was a blast last year. <laughs> I'm going to be down here helping out. And it's such a variety. Yeah. Uh, they will be auctioning something for everybody. I oh, mean, yeah. they've got so many items. It's a lot of fun. They have a ball. It's for a great cause. And it's just fun to get involved in it. Yep, it, it is. It really, really is. Yeah, I'll so. be down here every night. Yeah. Going to be helping out. It's going to be fun. So Lions Club auction coming it's up. It's about November. that time. It is. It's, it's coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. Break time? Break time. Did our caller make it yet? They're trying. They're good. Okay. I'll put it that away. There we go. <laughs> I see the name, but I don't see a face yet. All right. They're working on it. All right. We're going to take a break and be right back. At Letty's Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why we have installed a convenient drive through window for all your to-go and pick-up orders. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and ask us about our daily specials for a low price to feed the whole family. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. Did you know when you shop at Sears Hometown Stores, you are supporting your local community? That's right. Your local Sears Hometown Store is locally owned and operated by one of your neighbors. Their store offers the best of what Sears has to offer with the top brands and appliances, tools, and lawn and garden. They also offer great financing options that work no matter what you need. Remember to stop by your local Sears Hometown Store today and support a local member of your community. Hi, we're Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z-Team at Century 21 Lemac Realty. And we'd like you to meet the rest of our team. When you are working with the Z-Team, you will find that not only are they down-to-earth people, but they are trained professionals who work with downsizers, first-time homebuyers, and clients who may want to relocate to our beautiful Ozarks. Our team has agents who specialize in lake and river properties, listing and selling raw land, acreage, and all residential homes. Listing your property with the Z-Team will help get it sold with unmatched Century 21 Global Marketing. You can find out more at RetireToArkansas.net. Lanes, 
Fun happens here. At MSI, they're not just another trash service. They're your friendly, family-owned and operated trash service, providing residential, commercial, and roll-off pickup. MSI offers competitive rates and services five counties in the North Central Arkansas area. Various dumpster sizes available for commercial and accommodating you with weekly pickup for your convenience. Call Tammy or Kathy today at MSI. MSI Trash Service. Small enough to know you and large enough to service you. Have you ever noticed that every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detailed services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care of Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. Take a step back in time when going to a barbershop meant more than just getting a haircut. Come into Legionnaire Barbershop today, a unique gentleman's barbershop. Get back in style with two experienced licensed barbers who are trained in tonsorial arts and lock removal and are happy to give you a straight razor shave. Legionnaire Barbershop is veteran owned and operated and located at 1041 Highland Circle Suite 55 in Mountain Home for a full old fashioned barbershop experience. Stop by Legionnaire Barbershop today. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. Diatli Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Diatli grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. A trusted name in the Mountain Home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors. The reason being they have high-tech equipment, their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do, and they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. Hi, I'm Benny with Ammo Dump. At Ammo Dump, they carry new and used firearms, large supply of shotguns, rifles, and handguns. Ammo Dump will buy, sell, or trade in your item and can special order whatever you like. They also have knives, scopes, ammo of any caliber, and provide gun cleaning and restoration. Call them today for the best competitive pricing around. If I don't have it or can't get it because I don't make it, come and see us. That's Ammo Dump, located next to Woodman's Package in Norfolk. It takes the right gear to survive out here. Oh, there she is, Ferris. It's the best gear around. Strong as an ox. Safe as houses. Out back is one powerful beast. Awesome. Four wheel suspension. Handles whatever Mother Nature throws at you. Designed to take the hard out of hard work. And deliver all the power you could need. So if you want to tackle the great outdoors, 
Get yourself a Ferris. Get the only mower with suspension technology at Mower Warehouse in Mountain Home, where they accept mower trade-ins, have flexible financing options, and services all brands and models. That's Mower Warehouse, located on Buzzard Roost in Mountain Home. When you think about And we are back. We've been uh, working with uh, Associate Justice Rhonda Wood on getting her logged in, and I think we finally got her. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Let me get my headphones on so I can hear what's going on. How you doing? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah, doing good. Doing well. How okay. you been? Good to see you. I'm good. It's good to see you. <laughs> wow. So you got that, you got that critter logged in, did we? Yep, we finally got it to work. There you go. So how you been? What's going on with the Supreme Court in Arkansas these days? Busy, busy? We are busy. Um, it's election season at the court, so that's always a little crazy. So um, we're kind of, there's a lot of balls in the air and we're catching them all. <laughs> Well, let's talk, I don't, I, and I know there's a lot of restrictions on what an associate justice of the Supreme Court can talk about. So if I bring up a subject and you can't discuss it, we respect that, we'll move on. Let's look at the, the, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court and the importance of having the nine people during an election season. And I'm sure you're thrilled with Amy as well as everybody else with her talents as an yeah, attorney and the judge. she's brilliant. Have you ever met yeah. her? I haven't. I've heard her speak live, um, but I haven't interactively met her. But I've heard her speak on a couple occasions at events that I've attended, and she's just brilliant. I think that's the interesting thing is someone disagreed with her interpretation of the Constitution. They cannot critique her in a act um, and her work. Yeah. So with the Supreme Court, give us an, a rundown of how the Supreme Court, you know, we've had uh, Chief Justice John Dan Kemp and Associate Justice Sean Womack's been on the program before. The breakdown of the process and where the Supreme Court fits in the puzzle in the state of Arkansas. Well, and we're, I think, compared to other courts in that we do have this critical role right now in how we review um, issues before they go on the ballot. Uh, whether that's in or not, we do sort of get every issue um, before it gets up to the ballot for constitutional amendments. And it sort of becomes very critical um, about the makeup of the court and the view of how much um, the individual courts will the constitution reserve that power to the people. And so we take it very seriously before we, you know, um, remove something that's been referred by the people. But at the same time, we don't, um, you know, just allow something to go on the ballot, even if it's something that we may want to vote for, um, if they haven't met the constitutional requirements. Um, because we take amending our Constitution very seriously as well, and the Constitution's, you know, the provisions and the parameters to amend it. So um, it meant that, um, that you have justices on the court that don't um, look at personally and just apply the Constitution very, I think, strictly, and, um, when, and that's their approach. Hmm. Now, was it you? It may have been... You were in Mountain Home a couple of years ago during the campaign, and we were talking. This is back when we were doing radio. And um, I think it was you. Is sometimes you take, remember how we used to diagram a sentence in junior high and break down the noun, verb, the adjectives, the pronouns, all, remember all that stuff? And I thought, wow, you know, just to make sure that you're getting it right. And I mean, you know, you study the Constitution so in depth that you will literally break the sentence down to make sure you're getting the meaning. Is it still that critical or is it more critical now than what it has been in the last 50 years?
Were you able to hear that statement? Yes. So we still do that, and um, so we, you know, we paid attention in, yeah, we paid attention in fifth grade English, and so we still do that. We still talk about um, little um, what is, what does a semicolon mean? And actually, we were just um, working on an opinion this week where. We were debating the meaning of a semicolon because it changed and altered the meaning of the Arkansas Constitution. Yeah. Um, so you're very correct there. And, um, what the founders, we give them credit and that the, the founders knew what they were drafting. So now we have, I'm trying to word this gently because I'm trying to, you know, and like I say, I know there's some things you can't discuss. I've heard it from candidates before running for a judicial position. You know, you can't legislate from the bench. How do you separate what you know? You know how to write a law, but you know how to interpret the law. You know how to apply the law. Is that is that three tiers kind of tough, you know? Now we got a little delay in the audio. You can hear my voice down there. <laughs> Internet issues. Yeah. It's hard. Um, it's hard. I think it's harder for um, Justin Act because <laughs> he, he's he's had both roles. It's really because you absolutely want, um, you know, you wish that you could have written it or if you could just add a word in, it would make the law, I think, mean something different. Um, but that's not our role, and um, you know. And sometimes we uphold laws that we disagree with or we think are silly, um, and sometimes we strike down laws that are really good, um, but they didn't get it right um, and how they had to pass it. It's 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 hard. You know, if you had a genie in the bottle and you got three wishes. How would you apply those three wishes to your job on the Arkansas State Supreme Court? Time lag. Boy, that's a really hard question. Well, of course. I know that you can't change a law. You have to interpret the law and apply the law. Boy. And then, yeah. Boy, Dale, I don't know. I mean, I love every part about my job. Um, you know, yeah. I. I would probably amend parts of our constitution um, in the sense of Amendment 80. I don't know that it got it right for separation of powers purposes mm -hmm. um, in how it laid out the separation. <laughs> no, but I think, I think that when we drafted Amendment when the people passed Amendment 80, um, they didn't, I'm not sure that the, the separation of powers is, yeah, is well yeah. balanced. Yeah, I understand. Um, so, I think we lost our internet. It's locked up on us. Okay, let's just we're going to tell we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to try to get Rhonda, we're going to take a quick break what you want to just have her call in i'll get i'll send you a number to send to her i'm going to send you a phone number to call in. we're going to do, change it over to audio we've got a lock up on the uh, internet here we're going to take a break and try to log back in with Rhonda. we'll be right back
about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, we hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. At Connor Family Funeral Home, our goal is to provide our friends and neighbors with caring, compassionate services at an affordable price. Connor Family is a full-service funeral home that offers a wide range of services to meet your family's needs and customs. We are the first on-site crematory in the area and provide many options to memorialize your loved ones and address all the details for a more personalized service. Where compassion and affordability meet, Connor Family Funeral Home in Mountain Home. When I grow up, I want to save lives like a superhero and show up when people needed me. When I grow up, I want to do animations. I want to create characters that can fly. No matter what it is you want out of life, there is a path to get there. When I grow up, when I grow up, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up, but I know I want to go to college. Arkansas State University Mountain Home. Take your first step at asumh.edu. At Letty's Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why we have installed a convenient drive through window for all your to-go and pick-up orders. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and ask us about our daily specials for a low price to feed the whole family. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. Seven thirty-seven, and we were trying to phone tap with Associate Justice Rhonda Wood from the Arkansas Supreme Court. Did it make the trip this time? <laughs> I did. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I apologize. Um, you know, sometimes across that. the state we have firewalls, and there's uh, you know, it just happens. So we'll visit by yeah. phone. And so, what That's we're talking fine. about that uh, judges that want to rule, that want to legislate from the bench, and yeah. as bad as they want to or we want to, you can't. Right. Um, and I don't know if you got my response to that at all. It broke. It started breaking up, and then it froze. So it's back up to what we're talking. You know, that's that's where okay. the video had locked up on the internet. So okay. At um, one point, I heard yeah. you said you under the three wishes. You said you would like to um, amend, if you could, the Constitution. Of course, we can't do that. That that's a whole other process. But yeah, uh, no, I th I wish that the Constitution was more balanced between the three branches. Um, that there are times where I think the Constitution almost has the judiciary doing roles that aren't really true to the judiciary, and um, that it almost puts policy making in our our lap sometimes. And I wish that wasn't the case. Right. Um, so I wish that it was. You know, we stayed true to our role. And um, then I said, my second wish I think would be that our financial constraints were removed from the judiciary. Um, so um, I think you and I have talked before about, uh, you know, I'm a big proponent of drug courts and veteran courts, um, and some of that we are just constrained by what we can do and just public access to the courts because of financial constraints on the courts. And so I guess that that would probably be one of my, you know, wishes is that um, it would be nice if the courts could operate um, as anyone <laughs> yeah. without the financial constraints and we could just do the public, you know, good um, and that everybody could get to court timely, um, you know. And I guess my third wish is that we could just, we could figure out a way to, um, you know, handle um, people that make mistakes criminally in a way that, you know, and we try to do that through some of the specialty courts, but 
there's just still not a great mechanism, especially with juveniles, that they make a bad decision, but they're not always bad people, you know? Right. And we, we still don't have the right answer there um, on how to sort really? of, you know, correct, reset them from that mistake without sort of, you know, the system ruining their lives um, by that mistake. You know, oh, we're yeah. not making it worse. <laughs> and so, yeah. I, you know, if my magic wand could figure that that answer out, that would be wonderful. <laughs> well, that's a good point, though. You know, you bring out a good point. You know, another thing that comes to mind, and this is what we're dealing with during the COVID-19 situation, uh, domestic violence. And I can only speak for yeah. Baxter County because where I, that's where I live. But reports are coming in that it's accelerated right now during the COVID-19 and then, believe it or not, in Arkansas, the human sex trafficking issues. And so I have talked with some people that said we need stricter laws concerning especially pedophiles. And I know mm. you probably can't talk about this because there could be a case that comes before the Supreme Court to where if this was found out that you were talking about this, mm -hmm. you'd have to recuse yourself on the court if that came about. Right. But... That would be a legislative process to protect our children. You know, we've got we've got right. people suffering, and, you know, it takes laws to protect this. And which way do you run with that? I mean, can you comment on something like that? Well, I mean, no, I mean, I'd have to, you know, of course, rule on if there's a challenge mm -hmm. to a specific law. But I can tell you that, um, so, yes, domestic violence case, cases are on the rise. Child abuse cases are on the rise. Um, what we also don't have is we don't have a good mechanism to um, assess and find out about child abuse and domestic abuse, if you think about it, when the world shuts down like this. Um, because the way we find out about child abuse and even domestic abuse is when people are out in the community, um, when kids are in school and seen in, you know, with bruises or report to teachers or um, the same thing, spouses show up, you know, at work with bruises or are interacting the community and people sense there's something going wrong in the home or, you know, they, you know, in their churches or that the community is who sort of, you know, helps protect and watch out for families. Um, and so when the world sort of shuts down, we're not seeing that um, and not getting those cases reported and finding out about the abuse that's going on. And so I don't know how to solve that either. Um, but, Yes. Um, when something like that happens, then, you know, we have to jump all over that because um, there, you know, this isn't, you know, Rhonda Wood, but there are the statistical studies of repeat offenders um, when it comes to the area of child abuse. I mean, that's sort of been proven. Um, it's not a question that it's a repetitive behavior. And then yeah, too often right. those children end up repeating the cycle. So, um, the state has to step in early, um, very early. We've been working with the Morgan Nick Foundation in conjunction with Leslie Rutledge's office on missing yes. and exploited children. And Genevieve was on last week and said that Arkansas is setting the stage to be one of the top states in the human sex trafficking issues. There's been yes. some children rescued within about 30 to 50 miles of where we're located here at the studio. And then again, and I'm just going to say what I've learned you hear about Black Lives Matter, but in the manifesto where they're talking about free and open love, that includes pedophiles. And mm. we're getting word, and I can't set this in stone, and so I'm, I don't want to riot sitting out here on Commerce Drive this morning, but still, when they're saying that pedophilia should be the same as all natural love, that is wrong, and this is some of the battles that we're fighting across the country with this situation. Well, certainly, I mean, any group, you know, I, and I don't know, you know, I couldn't speak to that, but hopefully no group is promoting, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> a natural love with children. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully not. Um, you know, and that's illegal <laughs> um, in Arkansas. Arkansas's location on the corridor um, interstate wise makes us a prime suspect um, and sort of prone for child trafficking. Um, and I'll tell you that who it's really sad that children that get picked up for child trafficking are very often children that are in foster care. Um, that mm. they are, um, if you think about it, um, because if, you know, they go disappearing and people don't tend to look for them as much. Right. Um, especially when you get to that 10 through 15 age. Um, and then also they just want love from anyone. 
so someone reaches out to them, they have internet access or whatever, they're so excited anyone that shows them attention. Wow. Um, So they target children in foster care um, specifically, which Arkansas has, you know, still has way too high of children in foster care because there's not enough adoptive homes. Well, and then another thing that we've talked about with various people throughout Baxter, Marion counties, and, and even up into Missouri, you get young girls, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old. And, of course, you've got all the magazines at the checkout lines at the stores and mm-hmm. all, and, and I'm sure they get the Victoria's Secret catalog, you know. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I'll ever be pretty. I don't know if I'll ever be loved. I'm overweight. Right. I don't, you know, the self-esteem mm-hmm. issues that can lead to this. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyone, and then someone comes along and tells them they're beautiful and them that attention that they're seeking. And like I said, especially if they're not getting that attention at home, um, right. you know, in the home family environment, or they're getting negative, you know, school peer pressure, that sort of thing, and don't have good self worth. Um, yeah. It's, That's the first time I've heard that self worth. There you go, your self worth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, so, you know, that they turn. Um, than to others. And, yeah, I mean, our society definitely has gotten where we're putting more and more value. You know, social media not helped. So it's more value on physical appearance. <laughs> and, you know, I was talking with Gary Tobar the other day. Uh, he's running for state rep district 55, and he pointed out something mm-hmm. that I didn't realize. One of the major highway junctions in this country is in West Memphis, Arkansas, at I-55 exactly. and I-40. Yes. And you're looking yes. like California to North yes. Carolina, Chicago to New Orleans. I didn't realize that's a major highway junction. And, you know, yes. there's a lot that can transpire in the subject matter we've got going on right now, I-55 at 40, you know. Yeah, that's why, I mean, for, you know, whether it's drugs transport and that's why it's turned into human transport, um, you know, we're particularly, um, you know, just geographically where we sit, that we have to give so much attention that, you know, we're paying attention. And especially with children that, you know, you're paying attention if you stop at, like, you know, a rest stop or a gas station yeah. or, you know, a McDonald's or a fast food or Chick-fil-A and you see a child that something, you know, or a teenager that something doesn't seem right and they're with someone older. Um, that's how, you know, we help catch some of these situations. Mm. So, what's next on the Supreme Court? Can you talk about anything coming up, or is that top secret? Well, uh, no. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I want to talk we, a little about COVID-19, but there could be some stuff uh, come before that, so we can't talk about that. Yes, there's some challenges, I think, in the uh, – so, I mean, we are – I'll be honest, we're moving into – we have a, a lot of – tax cases right now. Really? Um, believe it or not. Uh, it, it's unprecedented in my six years that we have, I bet, eight, nine tax, various tax challenges. Um, so we're dealing with those. And I think maybe there may be one coming up on the docket that has to do with your area with the Ozark water. So I won't comment on that. But there's various tax, we have quite a few tax cases. And then I think the big change for the court is um, Justice Hart is retiring at the end of the year, and then um, Justice-elect Webb will be taking over in January 1st. Um, and so we're, you know, sort of making preparations. That That's always a big change at the court. Um, one out of seven, when one changes, um, you know, when you have a group that makes decisions in a group of seven and one person switches out, um, you know, it's it's a big change. Um, it is, yeah. And it's how we work and how we make decisions. And so, uh, you know, we're starting to think about that as well. Now, Associate Justice um, Joe Hart will be retiring. You said, does yes. that end on December 31st? Does that carry over? Correct. In? Okay, so. No, December 31st. Um, and the so swearing-in like ceremony will be what? Somewhere around January 17th, prior to the inauguration well, of the president? <laughs> so, um, so, Justice Select Webb will have to get sworn in on January 1st so right. she can start officially making decisions. And then she'll have to plan her kind of formal investiture, which I know you came down to mind. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know That's if quite an honor to be that. invited, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was my honor that you were there. You were so, you know, helpful in getting the word out about judicial elections um, to me. But um, I, I don't know if she will delay it somewhat, If co- depending on COVID. Oh, that's true, yeah. So... 
you know, she's sworn in and she can take office, but she may, you know, may or may not, you know, delay it a month or two. Um, you know, just uh, my advice, I talked to her a little bit, and my advice to her was, you know, this is a special moment and in your life, and so if you have to delay it a month to make sure all the people that matter to you can be there, you know, do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, so I, I think she's going to think about that um, yeah. when she's making her plans. Um, but, that, that, you know, it's exciting for the court. I really like her um, and have known her for quite a long time. Oh, yeah. Um, and so looking forward to working with her, and um, and I think it'll be a good, you know, it will change be. Is, is good sometimes. <laughs> yep, it really is. I'm looking at the clock. I know you've got to get ready to go to work. And, yes, uh, we have an oral argument um, about a Freedom of Information case um, this morning. Um, and actually, you can watch it. People can watch it live. We're, we are live streaming on YouTube our oral arguments on Thursday morning. Oh, wow. Um, so if any, And then we always have them on our website. But um, because we're doing them by Zoom, we're able to live stream them um, oh, on yeah. YouTube now. Yeah. So I'll let everybody know that if they're ever interested. Um, they're pretty much every other Thursday morning at 10. So, so. Um, we're going to go ahead. Thank you for well, visiting yeah. with me. It was really nice. And, and it's always good working with Julie, too. You know, Julie's top notch. Oh, she's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. blessed to have her on. Oh, today. yeah. You bet. Associate Justice Rhonda Wood, Arkansas State Supreme Court. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Good visiting with you, Dale. You, too. Thanks, Rhonda. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. There you have it. <laughs> oh. Had a few little glitches, but... Why don't you go adjust the camera right quick so everybody can see you, too? You can get up out of the chair. I think I still got me in here. I Do just got to switch look the screen. My, so. I had headphones. Look at this mess. Yeah, you look terrible. I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I'll fix this here and have, have me on. Actually, I've got me on the wrong one. You got you on the wrong one. That's all right. I'm good. We're going to be a little bit out of shape, but I'll move over, move a, little over a little that? bit. There we'll you get, go. There we go. Yeah. I had to move your camera over to get her to fit. <laughs> we do apologize for the, the feed. We had some internet issues with getting her connected at first. A lot and, of Central Arkansas doesn't have very yeah. good internet. We've run across that at the state capitol. We've run across it in various areas in Faulkner and Pulaski County. And where her Wi-Fi that was local ended up having a firewall that was blocking it and not letting it come yeah, in. So, so that nevertheless, I know we had a long delay, but we got her in on audio and turned had a out good really discussion well. and i told her about 750 because you know she's got to go from conway to little rock and get downtown she got to go all the way down to the uh, supreme court building i have to admit it was quite an honor to be invited to the swearing in ceremonies at the supreme court i've been to two of those uh was there with justice Rhonda wood and uh, then again with uh, chief justice john dan camp and associate justice sean walmack and uh that second round is set behind the secretary of state and the secretary of education and I mean, wow, you're on the floor of the Supreme Court. <laughs> I mean, like, wow, how did I wind up here? <laughs> Quite the honor. Good friends That's on cool, the Supreme though. Court. And, of course, you've got Miss um, um, Webb going to be taking over January 1st from uh, Joe Hart. Joe Hart be retiring. She's been on court for quite a while. And so be some changes made. Hopefully go back down to the Supreme Court for another swearing-in ceremony. So we'll see. A lot of fun. That's cool. That's cool. It's cool to to have her come on and talk. And uh, I wish we could the video and everything would have went smooth. But you know what? We're live, and those are things that we happen. I when mean, you're live. you guys I do this it. on Friday night with football. So any glitch, you know. And I got to compliment yep. you guys on the job you're doing there. You know, and it all depend. We were depending on their internet in Faulkner yep. County. You know, in Pulaski County. Hey, it happens. But we got the audio on, and people are now aware of. Uh, of uh, Associate Justice Rhonda Wood. She's come up here quite a bit during the and campaign. It, it's awesome having her on, but she's also very limited on what she can talk about. You yeah, know, they, and it's when you have a judge, uh, and... somebody that said, whether the Supreme Court, Court of Appeals, or even your local judges, you have to be careful. That's why in the end set, I said, okay, if you can't discuss this, we'll re respect this. Say, okay, I can't discuss move that. Forward. We move on to the next subject. So anyway, um, someone's going to ask you. I can't think what it was. That's a scary thought. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> tomorrow, of course, Bob's going to have the coach, and you all will be heading out to Salem Springs. Uh, yes. Ronald Bombers take off, take, take two, take on Salem Springs at Salem. I was a little worried about the weather, but it looks like out there. Um, hey, you got 
you got the weather on your computer, look up Salem Springs. But I believe the rain's going to come through in the morning, and I think it'll hopefully be that's cleared out by the uh, I'm, I'm really yeah, That's normally the pattern. I'm really hoping. That's normally the pattern. Because they got us outside on a platform, so. <laughs> See, Friday night in, state, in this area for Baxter County Airport, it's saying 20% chance Friday night into Saturday. So you go from a 50 to a 20, and normally that 50% chance is during the heat of the day, basically 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But that's here, too, so uh, it'll already been passed through. Uh, Salem, Salem Springs. Springs. Yeah, so I don't so think you're going to have any issues. See. I had their thing on here just to make sure, but daily so this is a good chance for mountain bombers come back with another win from northwest arkansas coming in this from this should be a, a good game it really really and Salem's picked by one i think uh hooten's got Salem up by one but uh I, I'm, I'm putting my money on the bombers i, I am too i'm too so be sure Dave. to join us tomorrow bob's gonna be here with the coaches and some sports updates for the mountain bombers and be talking about the live broadcast tomorrow night starting at 6 30 pregame kickoff at seven Yep. Friday night, yeah. Of course, just remind everybody, we do have the Lions Club uh, starting off. You know, we, I had We're some actually getting prepared, and we, we, you know, this is a big deal for us, too. He's got the mop out and everything. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. all done out of out of here yep. at XL7 TV, and uh, we have uh, getting everything cleared. They will take almost our whole warehouse part back there just full of items, and uh, that's what we're getting prepared for now. And uh, it is a lot of fun. I mean, you talk about it is not just oh, somebody sitting, last some last auctioneer time. sitting here auctioning. Oh, no. They got anybody <laughs> and every Heck, they even got you up there. Yeah, me and Bob point. Zadora. And, uh, <laughs> and it's truly about having a good time. And you can go mm. online. You can bid online. You can call in with your bids. Uh, I, I, I buy so much stuff every year on this thing. And it's just because I get caught up. You ever going to take it all home? <laughs> No, probably not. <laughs> you just get caught up, though. You get to you bed with somebody them. else, and next thing you know, they're they're laughing about it, and they're just it's just a, bring a up lot that of fun. flyer. You got the flyer? Did yeah. You, let's take a look at that. Yeah, you know, so got people it on are going to be on KTLO ninety seven point nine FM, of course, XL seven Cox Channel eight forty three, Natco Channel twenty seven, NEXT Channel thirty six, Over the Air Channel twenty six, Ritter Channel twenty two twenty six point one. Sudden Link 22 and Yelcott 70. And write this number down, 425-2266 to bid, or you go to lionsclubauction.com. We had so much fun last year. And it is. Good folks raising money for the Lions Club. And, um, you know, they called and said, would you like a yes, yes, yes. I'll just, I'll be here every night. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you can't say no to them. The, the ladies are very demanding. <laughs> <laughs> Take that ball and chain off now. <laughs> <laughs> no, great folks, great cause. Love to love to work the Lions Club auction, and so. And my kind of my favorite thing it's, it runs all week, and it's, they get people that sponsor the food because there's so many people here working it that people cater food in. Well, that's why I'm so, coming in. I love the food. <laughs> For all next week, my lunches will be leftovers. leftovers. <laughs> so I'm actually excited for this. Okay. Lions Club auction coming up November 9th through the 13th. Yep. Okay. Friday night football. Tomorrow night pregame with Bob Rechton Wall. Starts at, at 6. Pregame's at 630, and the kickoff will be at 7. Yep. And so um, – oh, let's take a look at White River real quick. Let's see if yeah. that fog is lifted. Yeah, me, I meant to do uh, that too. Let me go ahead and get it up. There we go. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. We kind of missed the sweet spot, though. And I call really? the sweet spots where the red horizon starts yeah. coming up, and it just makes a that really, really pretty That is simply beautiful. Picture. You can go to retiretoarkansas.net, log in to live webcam. This is brought to you by the Z-Team, Bob and Linda Zadora, for all your real estate needs. And you can look at the live webcam of the beautiful White River and the Bring sunrise. That Isn't that? That is spectacular. That is, see the fog in the back mm -hmm. to the north. Oh, my goodness. That is simply beautiful this morning. Yeah. Okay. So, coming up tomorrow, Bob Rechtenwald Sports will be here tomorrow. We'll do the intro, and uh, I'll sip on some coffee after that. <laughs> and y'all be talking with, with the coach, and we wish the Bombers well. Go Bombers. Beat Siloam. And then they'll have Russellville, I think, the week following. Yes. Yep. And that will be at home. Yep. And then we got... Um, is it Parkview? I can't remember. We got one, one more out of town. One I think is down by Little Rock. So. There you go. We got to go. See you all tomorrow.